Hey everyone, today we are diving in to why Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies is the best since Call of Duty Black Ops 3. A little quick heads up, I am a bit sick, so I do apologise if I sound off. My body apparently can't handle the outside world very good. Also, I had to buy some of these games again on my PC just so I could showcase them for you today. So if you could leave a like and subscribe on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Genuinely, it does help out so much. Now let's get into why I feel Black Ops 6 Zombies is the best since Black Ops 3 Zombies. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 definitely has a recency bias. It literally just came out. So feelings are high right now but when it comes to comparison let's go back and actually take a look at each game that has the zombies game mode and talk a little bit about what's good and what's bad about them starting with the iconic call of duty black ops 3. so treyarch developed this title and it featured iconic maps like shadows of evil it was a sprawling noir city filled with unique easter eggs and character backstories. The intricate design allowed players to explore every nook and cranny, uncovering secrets and lore. The introduction of Gobble Gums allowed players to customise their experience, providing perks and abilities that could turn the tide in intense moments. On PC, one of the most significant features was the ability for players to create, share and play custom maps. This feature fostered an incredible community of creators, leading to endless replayability. Players can now immerse themselves in new environments created by fellow gamers, keeping the zombies experience fresh and exciting. You can't talk about Black Ops 3 without talking about the Ether storyline. It reached its peak in this instalment, weaving together narratives of original characters like Tank Dempsey, Nikolai Belinsky, Takeo Masaki and Edward Richthofen. Players were drawn to a complex web of time travel, alternate realities and supernatural elements, making it a rich lore experience and super fun for all to enjoy. Easter eggs were such a fun part of this game. Definitely one of the biggest drives of all the zombies community and to this day, some Easter eggs still aren't completed. Let's go forward a year to 2016 where Infinite Warfare was released and developer Infinity Wards got the reins on the classic game mode. Each map they made represented a different decade starting from the 1980s themed around various movie genres. This created a unique and diverse experience. For example, the Spaceland, which was the first map released, had a classic 80s sci-fi vibe, while Rave in the Redwoods brought a horror film aesthetic. Now, the game did try to introduce some new mechanics, such as more weapons, power-ups, and, and their own take on the mystery box or perk machines. But overall, the experience kind of felt just a little bit disconnected from that classic zombies feel although fun in its own right. The storyline follows a group of characters navigating through themed movie maps whilst trapped up by a director. The story was fun and it had elements of humour, nostalgia, appealing to fans of different genres. However, it seemed to lack that deep lore connection that players seem to crave, especially from that ether storyline. Now, I do want to make a little side note here. All of these games in their own right are good. I don't want to sit here and, you know, shit on any one particular game or say this one's terrible this one's great it's call of duty one of them is gonna be the best and unfortunately for a lot of people black ops 3 is that one so when you have a game like that it gets compared to all of them if for example vanguard was the best zombies then everyone would be comparing it to vanguard and by the way these are just my opinions i have done a little bit of research to help back up some ideas and some theories and things like that but these are pretty much just my opinions agree disagree let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about these things but these games in their own right are good and you can have fun and enjoyment in no matter which one of these you play have played or enjoyed playing I'm not here to shit on the games directly. I'm just simply saying how I feel when it comes to the zombies experience. Let's go to 2017 with Call of Duty releasing World War II. The developer for this was Sledgehammer Games. And for the zombies mode, they took a darker turn with the maps like the Final Reich. Sorry if I absolutely destroy that pronunciation there. These maps were set in a haunting and atmospheric environment that amplified the horror events. The design emphasised a gritty realism that immersed players in the horror of World War II. You really seem to get that horror feel. The introduction of rituals added a unique gameplay twist where players had to complete specific objectives to progress, which some people seem to really enjoy. Other people just kind of like 
opening and buying a door, for example. But to each their own, I didn't think this was necessarily a bad idea, personally. As said, the installment shifted to a horror narrative, obviously during World War II, featuring Nazis and supernatural elements, which brought a similar, but yet fresh and eerie vibe to the zombies experience. The game seemingly stayed neutral in terms of its preference for release. You had some people loving it for the, the new take and that horror feel and their twists on the classic zombies game mode. And you had some people that weren't quite enjoying it. And by this point, many people were pretty much just consistently playing Black Ops 3. For that consistency and also, as said earlier, the custom maps. But I did check the reviews on this game recently, going back and playing it, and it's actually getting decent reviews now. I think whilst you have recency bias for things like Black Ops 6, you also have nostalgia. So in the moment, something can feel really good or really bad, and then after some time, you go and play it, and you can actually appreciate it for what it is without comparing it to anything else. As said, with all of these games, unfortunately, that just is what it is because it's a Call of Duty title. It will get compared. In 2018, we saw the release of Black Ops 4. Treyarch coming back with Black Ops 4, the highly anticipated release after Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And one thing I will say is the map designs on this game were visually stunning. Maps like IX or 9 or Ancient Evil were genuinely beautiful to sit there, play and look at. One thing that brought it down a little bit was the complexity of the mechanics. It confused a lot of players. They switched out the gobble gums for elixirs and, you know, they were less impactful and they kind of made the gameplay a little bit less engaging. They did make a couple of attempts and, you know, connections to the Ether storyline, which in execution I feel was kind of lackluster. It wasn't hugely well received by fans and not saying there isn't some appreciation there for it but considering what they had with black ops 3 i feel like they could have done so much more with black ops 4 especially with the gameplay and the mechanics and just trying to make people you know trying to give those hardcore zombie fans the connection and that storyline they craved especially deeper connections with that ether lore this also plays into the replayability. The replayability factor was notably lower compared to previous titles. Players felt that the over experience did not encourage the repeated plays, leading to a decline in engagement over time. And again, people just flocking back to Black Ops 3. We gotta give credit where the credit's due, the maps were visually stunning. We then had a two year gap and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War released in 2020. Now, the developers for this game were actually Treyarch and Raven Software. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember having much hype going into this up until like trailer releases and things like that. And they launched with a map called D Machine or Die Machine. I'm terrible with pronunciation, okay? Leave me alone. Now, classic Zombies fans will know this pays a huge homage to early Zombies games, literally the first ever map but also incorporated modern elements. Things like streak systems where players could buy streaks using scrap that was collected from killing certain zombies. They really changed a lot of gameplay mechanics and in a positive and good way. And maybe Treyarch has a bias in general in terms of we enjoy what they do and we just want Treyarch to make zombies forever, please. <laughs> maybe that's what I'm saying, maybe it's not. I'm not gonna confirm or deny that but it just seemed to be implemented right. Perk machine changes, the gameplay mechanics, the mechanics of like upgrading your guns and their rarity became a crucial mechanic because it allowed players to enhance their weapons significantly, especially in those later rounds where the game seemed to dial up to 11 a bit. So basically you could upgrade the gun's rarity as well as its pack-a-punch level. So you can go pack-a-punch three, rarity, I think four, it goes common, uncommon, or common, rare, epic, legendary. So there was a lot to play with and seemingly more upgrades to give you more of that punch. You also got armor as well, the introduction of armor into Call of Duty Zombies. It allowed players to take a few extra hits, but wasn't completely overpowered in terms of giving you invincibility or anything. The overall Cold War experience genuinely was such a fun and refreshing addition and seemed to have a lot of people in the community on their side. And one thing it did well was it didn't matter whether you were a new Zombies player or an old Zombies player, 
it seemed to fit everybody well. The inclusivity there was really, really good. Now, as a caveat to that, I will say maybe Cold War has a higher pedestal because of the previous titles before it not living up to the standard that we wanted out of Call of Duty Zombies experience. So there is potentially an argument for that saying we weren't quite happy with the years before. This is something that's semi-decent, so maybe it's better because something before it is worse. There is that sort of subconsciousness of that potentially going on here with how I rate Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and I am slightly aware that that could be the case. Call of Duty 2021, we got the release of Vanguard. <sighs> Trey coming back and featured their zombies map, their Unfang again shut up about the pronunciation the best thing about this map is the name <laughs> okay 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 look the trailers for this map and the hype around this game actually looked good you had creators such as myself and other people genuinely excited for this game to release but when it was released it quickly wasn't as seemed took away the classic round based element of zombies and replaced it with a system of progressional challenges that forced you to level up you had to do like a survival based challenge and a blitz based challenge or you know protect this area and and you had a hub that you leveled up each challenge that you would do but each challenge you would do would also level up the round but it wasn't rounds it was more difficulty and it just it flipped the whole script and not in a good way you had big creators literally telling you do not buy the game if you are buying it for the zombies experience so out of 10 right now i'm giving this a four I'm, I'm, <laughs> listen all right i'm giving it a four out of ten all right honestly don't buy it boys don't buy it don't buy it just play cold war trust me please don't buy it I will, i'm announcing it yeah don't buy it don't buy it. Don't buy it. This is worse than Black Ops 4. At least on Black Ops 4, you had the two launch maps and you could... You, you could... enjoy round-based zombies and grinding camos and stuff like that. This is actually worse than Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The game that nobody talks about because it was that bad for zombies. Zombies with Black Ops 3 was skyrocketing so high and doing so well that everyone was so hyped for Black Ops 4 and when it came out it fell so hard. And I'm telling you something right now from a number statistic of like YouTube, game, everything, it fell and it never returned to where it was at. Then Cold War came out and it had such a good start. Take away the five months waits between games, it was so much fun when they started adding new game modes. New fun events. The Halloween thing was probably one of the best events they've ever done. Outbreak, I didn't really like it that much, even though it was a feature, but you didn't have to play it because you still had the core thing that Zombies was. Call of Duty Zombies by Treyarch is a round-based survival mode where you try and go further and further and further and further and try and beat your previous score. Yes, Cold War was very easy because you could have unlimited revives and all that sort of stuff and just it was like noob-friendly. This is not even that. And unfortunately, this has got Treyarch's name on it. And I cannot understand how, why, what, where, and when the decision was made to move forward with this as being what they should have Just don't, just don't buy the game yet. Just, just don't buy the game yet. If you're buying it for zombies, just, just don't, just don't do it. Please. I don't want you guys to be disappointed. And if you're buying it just for zombies. If you're buying it just for zombies, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it yet. Now, while I can appreciate the trying to do something different, I can 100% appreciate that. I just think it kind of went the wrong way. They ended up releasing Shinonuma as a round-based map, but it was just a little bit too little too late, in my opinion. 
and it wasn't necessarily a bad map at all it you know you can find enjoyment out of it i'm not saying that you can't but the map itself just it was the damage has been done you know it was just way too late in the in the release if they released it with the unfang maybe but no it was just too little too late in my opinion and i want to have a little side note here vanguard in itself i actually quite enjoyed the gunplay i actually quite enjoy the multiplayer to a degree i'm a fan of you know the world war and world war ii especially in the multiplayer sense because i enjoy the guns and i enjoy how they look and they feel and all that stuff and the movement and things like that were actually really good in vanguard but they really really did miss the mark when it came to the zombies experience fast forward another two years and the next soul zombies title was from modern warfare 3 the developer again infinity ward the zombies mode actually took a complete turn again infinity ward introduced a warzone slash dmz system into zombies the call of duty title a year before had a dmz mode that seemed to not do well with the rising of these sorts of games such as Escape from Tarkov, for example. It seems like Call of Duty wanted their piece of the pie and to have their own take on that style of a game, which is fair enough. You gotta get on the train of what works sometimes. I completely agree with that, especially as a content creator. And I've gotta give props where it's true. It wasn't necessarily a terrible zombies experience. You load in, you start with XYZ, you had to do what you can and then X fill. The issue for me with this zombies experience was there was a timer limit. Now, I know later on in the game, you could extend that by going to different areas. But by this point for me, I had semi checked out. I was kind of like, well, I, at 45 minutes, you spend 20 minutes getting everything set up. And then you've got 10, 15 minutes to kill things. And it's not actually 10, 15 minutes because then I got to go and exfil. It just seemed like it really missed the opportunity to be actually quite fun and really good. And this again was a game that seemed to bring in a lot of newer fans to the popular mode that is zombies and again i don't actually think it was terribly bad that time limit ended up making it more of an annoyance than an enjoyable experience for me and again with any of these games there is enjoyment to be had out of all of them but let's talk about what we're here to talk about call of duty black ops 6 as I said at the start of this video, it has a recency bias. It's just come out. So I'm of course going to talk highly of it, especially if I am enjoying it while it's just come out. There have been games I've played one map, I've played one time, and I've gone, nope, not for me. So I know very early if I think this is good or bad. It's just, it's set in your bones. Am I enjoying this experience? Yes or no? That enjoyment is enhanced if it's new, if it's fresh. I get that. Black Ops 6... Treyarch obviously get back into the mix and they release two maps at launch called Liberty Falls and Terminus. Liberty Falls seems to be designed as more of an introductory map for newer players. Not that either of these maps can't be played because until like round 25, you're pretty much just like cruising along, not really in crazy loads of trouble anyway, which is what I think is so fun about this kind of experience. In terms of the, the the gameplay itself, it really did branch off of that Cold War system and uh, it kind of refined it a bit and added a bit more of the old style zombies into the mix as a twist. And it was, seems really, really, really fun. And there's something in there for everyone, which is what I'm trying to say. But Liberty Falls, which is a map you can see on screen, features a variety of different weapons, strategies, doesn't seem to overwhelm you too much until you get into the higher, higher rounds, which is going to happen. It has relatively quite a few training spots and quite a few resource spots, like the ammo crates and the upgrade spot, which gives a nice balanced flow and allows for multiple players and things like that. It seems to offer really engaging gameplay. Not to say that this zombie's experience is filled with clutch situations, when you're getting into those higher rounds, thanks to the return of Gobblegums. Not only do they add layers of strategy and excitement with newer Gobblegums or slight changes to the Gobblegums, but they create that nostalgic feel of having those Gobblegums at your disposal to use in the moment's need. I will touch on Terminus briefly. It's a slightly harder map. It's a bit more for the hardcore zombie players. As I said, any of these maps can be played as regular. 
I think what's good about the zombies is the replayability seems to be one of its standout features. You know, it provides players with a multitude of experiences across both of the maps. The increasing difficulty provides that constant mayhem, which creates those unforgettable, like, fun moments that I seem to remember fondly. I remember things like Easter egg completions or things like that, but also those moments when I'm on late with my mates, we're sat there dying laughing because we're just constantly getting downed running scared for our lives getting back up run away someone else goes down you gotta run around the map to try and save him it's bringing those feels back it's the first time i've had that in a long time you get that adrenaline rush of like getting a good gobble gum and popping it to use that last second revive because it's perfectly timed and it's just like each play session is different and unique which is great now, this is the last time I'll say this. Like, I feel like a broken record, but it does have recency bias. But a lot of players, including myself, feel that this is the best zombies experience that we've had in years. I think we're at that point where we've got the nostalgic elements and modern mechanics. We probably know we're not going to get another Black Ops 3, but cold war was a really really good substitute but as things have progressed in the game in general in terms of just the simple omni movement stuff you get used to that and you kind of start to enjoy that sort of thing you play these older games they feel really slow that's one thing i felt when playing these older games again for the first time in years you do feel quite slow so i enjoy the newer movement i enjoy being quick i enjoy running around so this for me does feel like a really really good zombies experience will anything ever top bo3 for me i don't know but right now this is pretty good. This is really fun. But there is one thing I want to ask you guys. What do you think? Do you agree and think Black Ops 6 is probably one of the best experiences you've had since BO3? Did you enjoy Vanguard Zombies? Did you enjoy Infinite Warfare's attempts? What was your favourite Zombies experience? How are you finding the new Black Ops 6? Are you enjoying the completionism of it? Are you excited for the future of it? What would you like out of Call of Duty? Let me know in the comments below. As said before, if you did enjoy this video, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for listening to me rant for about 15, 20 minutes. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys soon. Much love. Take it easy.